Hello friends. If you think about the structure of universe, structure of earth, structure of all celestial bodies, you will be astonished because the structure is very very complex. It contains different types of substance, different kinds of matter present in it. Then what are the main composition? If you discuss this thing, the main composition of all planets, all celestial bodies are matter, different kinds of matter produce the universe, produce earth, produce different planets. So let us discuss what is matter, what are the nature of matter, what are the types of matter. Matter may be visible or invisible. We can see or we cannot see. If you see the air around us, it is invisible. It is also made of matters. The dress you are wearing, colorful dress, that is also made of matters. So you should not think that visible things are matter. No, it may be visible or may be invisible, consists of different kinds of matter. So what is matter? Matter is anything, anything that have occupies space. and mass. Anything that have occupied space and mass are called matter. May be visible or may be invisible, but these are called matters because it may, it may be very small thing, but it has some mass. It has some space in the universe, in the particular area it occupies. That's why everything which our art, our universe is made of are called matters. What are the types of matter? Matter classification on the basis of composition, on the basis of composition, on the basis of composition, matter are generally three types. What are these? Element. Compound, third one is mixture, general three types, on the basis of composition, made of particles, based on the nature of particles, matter are three types, element, elements, compounds, and mixtures. Three types. What is element? It is the type of matter if you see elements means 
सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म मीन्स हैविंग सेम काइंड ऑफ आइटम्स सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म हैविंग सेम काइंड ऑफ आइटम्स दैट मीन्स सेम टाइप ऑफ सब्सटेंस इज मेड ऑफ देर इज नो डिफरेंस इन द कॉम्पोजिशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल This is one atom. It is single. It is single atom. But if you see, this one is made of two atoms. It may be made of more than one atoms. Made of more than one atoms. But the nature of atom is same. Nature of atom is same. Similar type of atoms it consists of. That's why it is called simplest form. No other thing is mixed. Simplest form means no different things are mixed and having same kind of atoms. That is called element. For example, I am showing that one. This is copper plate. It is copper plate made of copper atoms. Copper plate made of copper atoms. So it is made of only copper atoms. That's why it is an element. What are the other examples? other metals sodium iron graphite graphite is an element because made of carbon diamond made of carbon so if i write sulfur s8 what does it mean it consists of eight sulfur atoms it consists of eight sulfur atoms so made of same atom that is sulfur that's why it is an element phosphorus it is an also element because made of only phosphorus ozone gas made of oxygen atoms oxygen molecule oxygen gas made of oxygen atoms so element means consist of same type of atoms same types that's why it is called an element and it is also pure pure form simplest form having same kind of atom these are the examples and it is also pure form pure form pure means no different things are mixed no different things are mixed that's why it is pure then come to compounds compounds it is made up of made up of two or more elements compound is made of elements but elements made of atoms or molecules but having same kind of atoms but compound is made of elements which elements two or more different elements two or more different elements 
이미 fixed ratio by weight. What does it mean? It is made of elements more than two. I'll give an example. It is made of two or more elements, different elements, in a fixed ratio by weight. Means their weight in the compound is fixed, not changeable. It cannot be changed. It cannot be different. Always remain constant. For example, water. We know water is a compound because it is made of hydrogen and oxygen. How many part in the number? 2 is to 1. In number. In number it is 2 is to 1. In weight, hydrogen is having 2 part by weight. Oxygen weight is 60. Because oxygen mass taken as 60. So, if you compare the total mass of hydrogen and total mass of oxygen, total mass of oxygen, then the ratio is 1 is to 8. This 1 is to 8 is the ratio of hydrogen, oxygen by mass. But 2 is to 1 is the ratio of hydrogen, oxygen in number of atoms. Here number of atom of hydrogen 2, number of oxygen is 1. That's why it is 2 is to 1. But by weight, by weight, by weight is 1 is to 8. Because hydrogen mass taken as 1, 2 hydrogen that is 2, 1 oxygen mass taken as 16, the ratio is 2 is to 16, that is 1 is to 8. So, made of different types of atoms, not same atoms. For example, like this. This is water molecule. Because two hydrogen atom, yellow spheres are two hydrogen atoms and this orange sphere that is oxygen atoms. H2O. So it is made of two types of elements that is hydrogen and oxygen. And total atom is three. Two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom. As it is made of two different elements, hydrogen and oxygen, that's why it is an it is an example of a compound. Like this. Already you have written copper plate is an element. If you write copper sulfate, copper sulfate, it is a compound because it contains how many elements? 1, 2, another oxygen, 3 elements, 3 elements, 3 elements are present in copper sulfate, 1 is copper, second one is sulfur, third one is oxygen. So it is a compound because the ratio of copper, sulfur and oxygen are constant in copper sulfate. The composition is constant. That's why what? It is a compound. Copper sulfate is compound. When copper sulfate is produced by taking water molecule, this copper sulfate when contain water molecule, the color changes. When in the formula, when it contains water molecule, the color is blue. While without water molecule, copper sulfate is white. So, copper sulfate when carry water molecule. Generally, copper sulfate contain 5 water molecule in the formula. That's why it is blue color. Okay, that is not necessary when showing the formula of water that is in the copper sulfate. But you remember copper sulfate is CuSO4, it is a compound. And the color of hydrated copper sulfate that is containing water molecule is blue color. This is blue color copper sulfate. So, 
it contain copper sulfate without water is white but when it contains copper sulfate high water molecule this is blue in the formula it contains water molecules the formula itself contain five water molecules so it is a compound in the formula this five water molecules already present with copper sulfate cuso4 that's why it is fixed the amount of water molecule in copper sulfate is fixed that's why it is a compound copper sulfate contain copper element sulfur element oxygen element and hydrogen element but if you see one copper sulfate contain five water molecule that's why it is a fixed if when ratio is fixed that is a compound we cannot change 5 to 4 or 3 that's why it is a compound color is blue that already you have seen this type of blue copper sulfate blue crystals these are the examples of copper sulfate that is a compound it is also pure copper sulfate also pure it is also pure it is also pure why pure because the composition is fixed the amount is fixed cannot be changed that's why it is pure the compound is also pure why compound is pure because the composition is fixed not changeable that's why it is pure examples other examples sodium chloride common salt water carbon dioxide like this all are examples of compound because made of different elements in a fixed ratio by weight the ratio of elements in the compound is fixed not changeable that's why it is a compound copper sulfate is compound then come to mixture mixture it is made of of different elements or compounds or both either it made of elements or made of compounds or both in any ratio by weight is very important any ratio means ratio is not fixed their weight is not fixed their amount is not fixed you can change the amount so any ratio any amount can be mixed to produce mixtures but it can be produced by taking two or more elements or elements with compounds or two compounds i will give one example already we have taken this is a compound because copper sulfate it is a compound but when you add water to it is copper sulfate i am adding water this much of amount of water i have added this amount of water is added now you see color becomes blue it is that water is added to copper sulfate then both copper sulfate and water 
remains in one mixture means copper sulfate dissolve in water this amount of water is present and this amount of copper sulfate is dissolved if this is a copper sulfate solution now it is called a copper sulfate solution if i add water again you see again mixing if you add all like this it is a mixture because both copper sulfate and water remains in the matter which has no fixed weight fixed mass i can add more water i can add less water i can add more copper sulfate that's why amount is not fixed that's why it is called a mixture that's why any ratio is present means it is a mixture what can be that copper sulfate plus water or me copper sulfate aq what is the meaning of aq aq means aqueous aqueous means dissolve in water like this dissolve in water now completely dissolve if you shake it then the mass will be dissolved it will take time just one two minutes so copper sulfate and water it is a mixture because the water amount in copper sulfate or copper sulfate can dissolve in water in different amount you can increase copper sulfate or decrease copper sulfate or you can increase water or decrease water that's why mass is not fixed that's why it is a mixture what are the other examples air air in the environment air is a mixture of oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide and other dust particles so like this so it is a mixture why it is a mixture because the amount of carbon dioxide oxygen nitrogen will differ from place to place if you go for different places the amount of carbon dioxide in the different places are different if you go to industrial area commercial places industrial places the amount of carbon dioxide will be more in compared to rural area that's why the composition are different dust particle are different but dust particles are not same in different places that's why air is a mixture so mixture air is a mixture of different amount not fixed amount that's why it is a impure impure mixture is a impure substance element compound are pure substance another thing of important difference between element compound mixture is fixed fixed melting point and boiling point if it is a liquid it boils if it is solid it melts so melting point boiling point is fixed in case of compound also same fixed boiling point and melting point under same condition at room temperature 
at room temperature and under same condition under same pressure atmospheric pressure the melting point boiling point of elements compounds are constant but mixture differ different they have no fixed melting point or boiling point no fixed melting point and no fixed mp and bp not fixed very because the composition are different composition can be less or more so this is about mixture another important difference also in case of compound different components components cannot be separated by physical method components cannot be separated by physical method by physical method by melt by heating by cooling like this you cannot separate the components of compound the elements present in the compound cannot be separated by physical method that's why it cannot be separated by physical method but in mixture it can be separated by physical method physical method can be applicable but how can you separate compounds only by chemical method chemical method can be applicable to separate the compounds but here physical method is applicable to separate the mixture so this is the main difference between mixture so many types of mixture other examples you can take sugar and sand you take a mix take a mixture of sugar and sand sugar and sand so it is a mix example of mixture you take sugar and water it is a mixture anything can be mix anything can combine that is producing mixture but compound always produces by the combination of different elements by chemical method forming a fixed ratio between them between the elements which are combined to form the compounds their ratio their weight is remains constant so this is the main difference between elements compounds and mixture then very important part is element element as it is made of same kind of atom as it is made of same kind of atom elements are different types it may be elements may be metal it may be non metal it may be metallic it may be metal non metal or metallics metal Examples: 
sodium, potassium, iron, like this. These are the metals. Different characteristics. Metals are good conductor of electricity. Metals are lustre. Metals are malleable. Metals are ductile. Metals can conduct heat and electricity. These are the one type of elements. Non-metals, just opposite. What? Examples hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, sulfur, phosphorus, so many. These are non-metals. These are the elements. Both are elements, but property opposite. They do not conduct electricity. Low melting point. Some exceptional behavior is there. You have all already read in class 10th also. So, the difference is it is a good conductor, it is a bad conductor. The property is opposite. Metal has both behavior. We switch metallic nature and non metallic nature. Both metal property and non metal property. It shows. Both metal property and non metal property, both it shows. Examples are silicon. Silicon, germanium, like this, these are the metallurgs, behaving like metallic property and non-metallic properties. So on the basis of properties, on the basis of properties, elements are three types, either metal or non-metal or metallurgs. Elements exist in different Either in atomic form or molecular form. Elements may be, some elements exist in atomic form. Either it may be a atom or it may be molecule. What is this? It may, element may be atom or may be molecule. For example, this one, it is an atom, single atom. If the elements made of single atomic form, means only single atoms, no combination of atoms takes place. Exist in free atomic form. In the free state, only atoms is available. These are called element in atomic form. When it is in combined form, made of same kind of atoms, two atoms, made of same kind of atoms, it is called also molecule. When made of atoms, it is called molecule but having same type of same kind of atoms. So this is a molecule made of two atoms. Same kind, same type. That's why it is called di. Molecule may be di, may be tri, may be tetra, may be penta, like this. Di means two atoms are there. Tri means three atoms. We know diatom example O2, triatom is O3, tetra is P4, like this. Hexa, octa, S8. So these are the all are elements. But in which form? They are elements in which form? In molecular form, in molecules, combination of atoms. Di, tri, mono. Atom is mono, mono atom, single like this, single atomic form, made of only single atoms, element, it is a matter, made of only one atoms, but diatomic, element, because why it is element, because same kind of atoms, no other atoms are there, but exist in diatomic form. 
two two molecule are combine each other. Two molecule, two molecule, two molecule like this they are combined. That's a diatomic, triatomic, tetraatomic like this. So elements are maybe atomic form or maybe molecular form. Then come to compounds. Compounds always made up of different atoms. Already we discussed. Compounds made of different atoms. It may be not mono. It cannot be mono. It cannot be mono. Mono atom. It cannot be compound, cannot be monoatomic. Because by taking one atom, by taking one element, compound cannot be formed. Because compound is always formed by combination of two or more elements. So it is always polyatomic. It is always polyatomic. Poly means more than one. More than one. More than one. Example water. Water. Water is made of oxygen and hydrogen. Like this. Orange color oxygen, yellow color hydrogen. So it is it contains how many atoms? One, two, three. One, two, three. So it is a triatomic. 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 Triatomic means it is homo or hetero. Homo means equal atoms. Hetero means different atoms. All elements are homo. Elements are homo atomic. Homo atomic. All elements are homo. Homo means equal atoms. Equal, same kind of atoms. That's why it's called homo atomic. All elements are homo atomic. It cannot be hetero. But compounds is always hetero. H E P hetero atomic. What is hetero atomic? Consists of different atoms. Oxygen and hydrogen. Two different, three different, like this. I will tell you sulfuric acid. You have read sulfuric acid? Sulfuric acid contain how many atoms? Four, five to seven. Seven atoms. Heptatomic. It is. So, water is hetero triatomic. Sulfuric acid is hetero heptatomic. It is hetero. Hetero hepta hepta atomic so hetero hepta atomic hetero triatomic always in case of compound hetero word will be used but in case of elements always homo will be used Homo, homo, monoatomic, homo, diatomic, homo, triatomic, always. Clear? So this is the different types of elements, compounds and mixture. All having different characteristics. It may be elements, compound and mixture, all having different characteristics. And this matter can be classified into on the basis of properties. On the basis of properties, matter may be two types: homogeneous or heterogeneous. Matter may be homogeneous or heterogeneous. It is matter two types. One is 
होमोजेनियस और हेटरोजेनियस होमोजेनियस मीन्स इक्वल प्रॉपर्टीज होमोजेनियस मीन्स सेम प्रॉपर्टीज सेम प्रॉपर्टीज सेम कॉम्पोजिशन जस्ट अपोजिट डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज डिफरेंट कॉम्पोजिशन एग्जाम्पल्स होमो मीन्स इक्वली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड नो सेपरेशन दैट मीन्स नो सेपरेशन नो सेपरेशन नो सेपरेशन या different phases different phases different phases means separation separation is there either externally or internally i will give example so all are homogeneous having equal properties example like this it is homogeneous this matter is homogeneous because the copper sulfate is uniformly mixed in water no particle is settled down no particles of copper sulfate is settle at the bottom of the beaker not visible particles are not visible uniformly mixed because the whole solution is blue color because it is so copper sulfate is uniformly distributed in water that's why whole water is blue that's a homogeneous this solution is a homogeneous matter but if you are this two three chalk like this if you add this then you see it is visible it is visible means not properly mixed in water not properly mixed means it is remaining same that's why it is heterogeneous it is heterogeneous so heterogeneous examples water and oil because oil floats on water not properly mixed here homogeneous is sugar and water homogeneous matter element is homogeneous compound is all element all elements compounds all are homogeneous all elements are homogeneous all compounds are homogeneous and mixture may be homogeneous may be some mixture is homogeneous some mixture it is sugar and water this mixture it is a matter it is homogeneous and water oil heterogeneous water sand water plus sand heterogeneous because sand is not dissolved chalk powder and copper sulfate solution that is heterogeneous so if it is properly mixed there is no separation between the components that is homogeneous if they are not mixed properly showing different characteristics these are called heterogeneous so homogeneous and heterogeneous matter so like this matter are classified in the different categories on the basis of properties on the basis of composition another is on the basis of physical state on the basics of physical state matter also three types generally three types on the basis of physical state physical composition if you see the physical composition on the basis of physical composition matter are three types 
What are these? Already know. Solid, liquid, and gas. Matter can be classified in different categories on the basis of the properties, on the basis of composition, on the basis of physical state. This is on the basis of physical state. On the basis of physical state, in three types. Solid, liquid, gas. Solid means very strong intermolecular attraction. Already you have read in junior classes. Liquid, low intermolecular attraction. Gas are very free. And solid, fixed. Safe and volume. Very important point. Fixed, safe and volume. Liquid, fixed. Volume what? No fixed shape. That's why it is liquid. Gas no fixed shape and volume. Nothing. All can be changed. Everything can be changeable. Shape will be changed. Volume will be changed in case of gas. If you transfer, transfer gas from one container to another container, it occupies the whole container, volume can be changed. And the shape of the container also acquires the gas. The shape of the gas like the shape of the container. So it is changeable, everything is changeable. And very weak intermolecular attraction, low intermolecular attraction, very strong intermolecular attraction, rigid, strongly attracted region is very rigid, hard. Solid and liquid cannot be compressible, cannot be easily compressible, but gas can be compressed. Cycle pump, we are using cycle pump by giving the pressure on the handle, the gas can be compressed. So, it can be easily compressed, but these two cannot easily compress. So, on the basis of their physical state, matter exists in three forms. Same matter can exist in solid state, liquid state, gas. Example is very important example. Ice is solid form of water. Water, liquid form and steam, gases form. So matter can exist in three states. So that on the basis of the use, the necessity, we can take the matter in different forms. If the solid form is required, we can take in solid state. If liquid form of matter is necessary, we can convert into liquid. By heating, by supplying heat, you can take liquid. Suppose you want ice. You have to take water, then we cool it, then you convert ice. If you, if you want to convert ice to water, just keep it outside, then it will be converted to water. If you just heat it, warm it, then you convert to water. If you want steam, we know before steam engine to run train, we are converting water into steam. That steam has high pressure. That's why on the basis of our necessity, we can convert matter into different states. Solid, liquid, gas. So this is about the matter. Thank you all.